Item number, SCP-458, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-458 is considered safe, and therefore is to be stored in the staff canteen at Site-17, with no access restrictions required. Description, SCP-458 is a large-sized pizza box from the pizza chain Little Caesars, of their hot and ready variety. It is made of simple cardboard, measures 25.4 centimeters by 25.4 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters, 10 inches by 10 inches by 1 inch, and weighs about 20 to 20.49 grams depending on toppings. As a result of the unusual nature of SCP-458, measurement of weight is inconsistent. What makes SCP-458 an oddity is that while appearing to be an ordinary pizza box, when it comes into contact with human hands, it instantaneously replicates within it the holder's subconsciously preferred choice of pizza, down to the favorite sauce, cheese, crust, and topping. It is not limited to the Little Caesars brand, as pizza from all major pizza chains, as well as local and even handmade pizzas have been produced. There seems to be no limit to its ability except that it cannot make anything but pizza, and its toppings must be edible by normal human standards. The box is also rather indestructible, as all tests to destroy or dismantle the box have proven fruitless. It is assumed the box is semi-sentient, having at least enough telepathic or empathetic ability to sense what the holder's personal choices regarding pizza are. After constant testing showed SCP-458's seemingly infinite power to generate pizza, but with little other use. It has henceforth been placed inside the canteen at Site-17 for free use by personnel. After its open usage has been allowed, personnel morale has shown to have sharply increased. Addendum 1A Upon testing SCP-458 with SCP- The subject took a bite of the slice, which appeared to be a garlic-free slice of sausage and olive pizza on wheat crust. This was met with the response, It's a fine slice but I would have preferred a rather different sauce. It was inferred that the box cannot use substances that are indigestible by regular human bodies. Further testing confirmed this. Addendum 1B Document Number 4581A I would just like to remind all staff that just because we have a pizza box that can constantly create pizzas for you does not mean that you can just sit around and eat pizza all afternoon. If continued abuse of the box continues, Coupled with reports of personnel gaining unhealthy amounts of weight, I may be forced to implement a mandatory physical training regimen following lunch hours. Dr. Del Marino Document number 4581B For simple curiosity's sake, and to, perhaps, get a better idea of the mindset of certain SCPs, I have compiled a list of sentient SCPs' reactions when holding the box. SCP SCP-40 Result: Small, extra cheese, cheese-stuffed crust. SCP, SCP-56. Result: Medium, sliced bell peppers, thin crust, Alfredo sauce. SCP, SCP-73. Result: Medium, feta and jack cheese, no sauce, thin crust. Note: Almost immediately after opening SCP-458, the produced pizza began to go through symptoms similar to other organic material within SCP-73's effect radius. Experiment was retried, with the pizza being removed from SCP-458 immediately after its opening, with minor deterioration present. When queried by researchers, SCP-73 stated it had never ingested products created by SCP-458. SCP SCP-76-2 Result Large Meatballs Pepperoni Bacon Canadian Bacon Sausage Hamburger Thick Crust SCP SCP-105 Result Small Olives Wheat Crust Thin SCP SCP-108-1 Result 
Large. Pepperoni. Thick crust. SCP. SCP-134. Result. Small. Onions. Anchovies. Olives. Thin crust. SCP. SCP-166. Result. Small. Bell peppers. Olives. Thin crust. Note. After SCP-166 ate a slice of pizza from SCP-458, SCP-166 complained about occasional moderate discomfort and nausea. The effects stopped after approximately 20 hours. SCP SCP-181 Result Large Pepperoni Sausage Marinara stuffed crust Note SCP-181 was told that this was a reward for good behavior, and that it was a lucky guess that it was his favorite type of pizza. SCP SCP-182 Result Medium Olives Mushrooms Pretzel dough crust SCP SCP-343 Result Large Almost every topping imaginable with over 100 distinct foods identified. SCP SCP-378 SCP-378-1 Result SCP-378-1 produced a large thin crust pizza with pesto sauce, ricotta, mushrooms, and fried mealworms. SCP-378 itself could not activate SCP-458. SCP SCP-3301 Result Large extra cheese and pepperoni, wet when removed from box. SCP SCP-3477 Result Medium Anchovies All instances produced identical pizzas with identically arranged toppings. Subject Dr. Michaels Result Large Hawaiian Tomato sauce Honey-baked ham Pineapple Extra mozzarella cheese With Tabasco SCP SCP-4504 Result Medium Egg Bacon Barbecue sauce base Thick crust SCP SCP-4999 Result Extra large Half supreme Half pepperoni Note SCP-4999 shared the pizza with D-430276 who was suffering from end-stage renal disease. Notably, this was the same variety D430276 frequently shared with her late partner, and the first known case of SCP-458 accommodating a pizza which exceeds its volume. SCP POI-3445 SCP-5175-1 Result Wielding SCP-5175 POI-3445 produced large pizza with mozzarella cheese stuffed crust, a barbecue sauce base, bacon bits, bacon strips, ground beef, ham, pepperoni, sausage, and a dusting of crushed chili cheese Fritos. SCP-5175-1 contributed teriyaki sauce. Note: Through POI-3445, SCP-5175-1 claims to have never tasted teriyaki sauce. It emerged as a modern fusion recipe and is not traditional Japanese cuisine. SCP-5175-1 acquired a liking for the sauce after conversation with POI-3445, who regularly ordered chicken teriyaki at the marketplace at Steamtown's food court. Further testing on SCPs may reveal some odd characteristics about the SCPs themselves and is suggested. Dr. Crane Update Further cross-testing is permitted, but requires approval and supervision due to safety concerns. Dr. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-457, Burning Man, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.